Well, hey there, guys. This is an H700. And this is useless to me. All right, so hey guys, this is Craig with Squappy's Videos. And today, I'm working on my Dell R710, or at least one of the three of them that I have. Um, and what I'm actually doing, I just took out this card over here. This is actually the H700. This is a RAID card. Um, I don't want to use these servers for RAID. What I want to do is I want to use these servers for either Unraid, which we'll try out in a little bit, or another free NAS server. More than likely, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with FreeNAS for this one, but I do wanna try out some Unraid, and this guy just don't cut it for that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna toss that over there. We're gonna get this. This is an H200 card, flashed to IT mode. What IT mode will do, it will make it so Unraid and FreeNAS can both read all six of the drives that are in this drive bay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug this up. Now, sadly, I don't have this flash properly to where it works in an integrated slot. So we're gonna have to use just one of the PCI slots up top. No worries, we got four of them. So, and I'm not really plugging anything else in at this time. So let's get this hooked up. All right. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this flash drive. We're gonna go ahead and download and install Unraid onto it. We're gonna take it, put it into the USB slot and get Unraid running on this guy here. So. Stay tuned and we'll show you the process in just a minute. All right, so as you see, we are here at the Unraid website. It's actually unraid.net. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just download the Unraid USB creator for Windows. So we'll go ahead and download that. I am on Windows right now. I've already got a flash drive plugged in. We're going to go ahead and open up the Unraid creator. And as you see, we got the Unraid USB flash creator here. So I think I want to go ahead and do the Unraid beta. Because I haven't played with that yet. We have the SanDisk Cruiser USB device right here. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it default. And go ahead and click on right. Yeah, I don't care about what's on this flash drive right now, so we're going to go ahead and just hit Erase and Write. Alright, and there we have it. Writing is done, so it means my flash drive is all ready to go, though... I might actually write this onto a different flash drive. So we're going to go ahead and close that for now. We'll get this guy loaded onto the server. All right. So now we got the flash drive. It's got Unraid loaded on it. We're going to go ahead and open up the top of our R710. Put the case over here just for now. And then now there is a USB port that's lit right here that we just put the USB stick right into. And take the case again, put it right here back on the server, latch it close. And then don't mind this little setup, but got a keyboard. 
Got everything hooked up to it in the back. I also have network plugged up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna boot up. I'm gonna tell it to just, I'm gonna actually do a BIOS boot like F11 to boot this up and get it to boot from the flash drive just to get into Unraid. And then we'll be able to go ahead and go back up to the computer and get Unraid set up. So, as you see, it's checking for memory. Okay, here we are. We have Unraid OS. I'm going to just go ahead and let it boot up. Now it gives me the option of GUI mode or not GUI mode. I actually selected the not GUI mode. Now that I think about it, I could have booted it with the GUI, but it's okay. Alright, now that it's booted up, what we're going to do, we're going to go upstairs, we're going to get signed in on the computer, that IP address. And for right now, we're just going to do a trial key. It'll be a 30 day trial right here on this server. Stay tuned while we go ahead and get that loaded up. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get connected here. Now, as you notice, uh, you might notice, I don't know, I'm wearing a different shirt. It got really late that night, and I waited until today to go ahead and, and get that done. But let's get that, get that going here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And here we are. We are in the Unraid setup. As you do see here, we have the option to purchase a key or get a trial key. Now it does go ahead and go based off of the GUID of the flash drive we're going. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to stick with Unraid or if I'm going to go back to FreeNAS with this, this computer, <clears throat> or sorry, this server. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just start with the get trial key. Let that go through. And we're going to start the trial. So this is a 30 day trial, which is actually really good. Um, and there we go. So it's only been up for about an hour. I ended up just turning it back on about an hour ago here. So this is Unraid and I actually selected the beta version of Unraid uh, because I just really wanted to play. Uh, and as you see here, we do have all six drives are actually being read currently. So that means the H200 card flash to IT mode is working. Um, all six drives are working, and as you see, Unraid's working. So that's pretty much it. And as you see, I mean, it, it does read everything. It does know the the, the it is a Dell device. It, it shows it here. It shows the version um, that that the board is running, the BIOS version. It shows the date of the BIOS and and everything, which it's fully up to date here. And that's it. You can go through, you can actually make some edits to how the cage looks. So, you know, that's what that looks. And we can actually, I believe we can go through. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to just name this real quick. See what it says. So we'll go ahead and apply that real quick here. That loading screen, uh, logo right here for Unraid is actually pretty cool. So there you go. It's right there, Dell R710. So we got we got the the picture to match what's there. You got some options here. Of course, there's different tools and, and everything overall. But we're gonna go ahead and just kind of leave it there for now. Uh, if you do want more videos with my R710, definitely leave a link down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear if you do want more, uh, and I'd love to make more content on it. Um, I know that I am going to do one more thing uh, to get it uh, attached to my server rack. Um, I have a much older server rack, so it doesn't really show as compatible. I had to buy a different part for it, but... In the meantime, it's just going to sit on my workbench for now. But 
soon we'll get a video and get that uh, get that mounted and and you guys will get to see but my name is craig with squappy's videos if you haven't subscribed already definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button ring the bell if you haven't already as well to get notified of new videos whenever they come through to youtube hit the thumbs up button if you'd like hit the thumbs down button if you'd like i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching have a good one and i'll see you in the next video ah have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.